cinnamon. <laughs> She's so depressed. You knocked over your pan. <laughs> Hi, buddy. Hi. Happy birthday. Thank you. <laughs> a day late. Yeah. <laughs> Morning, guys. It is uh, Friday. It's actually been a week since I've picked up this bad boy, meaning my camera. I was away at a conference this week, so I got home uh, late, late, late Wednesday night. I've been trying to recover. When I get into a different time zone, even if not that bad, it takes me a bit to recover. Today is waning day. The lambs are huge. So, it is time. I was watching them yesterday, watching this pen drink off their mom, and the lambs were literally lifting her off the ground uh, as they were nursing, so it's definitely time. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get this all set up. Sorry, Lucy's barking at birds. We're gonna get the uh, handling system set up in the corner. We're gonna basically build a path to the uh, handling system, and then we'll sort out the mums to go back in this pen and then the babies are gonna get put on the trailer and taken to the barn across the road. And uh, there's a lot. <laughs> What's the matter? What's the matter? What do you see? It's a baby. It's just a baby.
Okay, it's, pro it's pretty loud in here too, but here are the uh, lammies. I'm not sure on numbers yet. I will do a whole weaning weight on these guys probably next week. And then um, what's gonna happen is I have them all on this side. I have way more water bowls on this side. And they also, as you can see, they're already on it. Like they're already training each other. So I kinda wanna keep it a bit congested in here for a little bit. Uh, but that's strategy because after that, Monday, we have all these red bums, are my ewe lambs, and they have to get revaccinated with their booster, don't ya? And then they are probably going to go across the road. Um, I'm going to ship the remaining market lambs that were in this pen. There's a handful left. Um, and then this side is going to be empty. I can take half those lambs and put them on this side and then there's there there'll be lots and lots of room in feeder space so that's kind of the plan over here if you can hear even what i'm saying hopefully but uh the group itself looks good uniform hi okay it is just after lunch here we finished up shortly after 11 maybe quarter after 11 I think and we wean four times a year and we've weaned for years together and every weaning is just like we got to figure out how to do this better this one by far was the best group of um, lambs in terms of moving them and uh, there's a few little tricks sorry guys the lights ever since I changed them in here are so bright goodness gracious anyways we came up with a couple tricks that made all the difference. So I'm gonna go in here. It's gonna be really loud. They're eating, so we have a, a little bit of a window. So um, in terms of moving the ewes and the lambs, um, the only thing we did different between the first pen right here and this pen is we opened this one a lot wider, right at the mouth here, and they moved way better. But the other problem on this side too, it was just a lot the, uh, it's been pushed up a bit, but the litter was a little bit deeper here where the bottle babies were, and I had cleaned a little bit of the front of this out, so I think just having that little bit of a jump made it hard for the ewes and lambs to move. So um, this side was a lot easier to move, but when we were loading lambs, uh, the trick of what we did, sorry, it's so loud, the, the trick we, we came up with this time is we only took about 12 to 15 lambs at a time. So we were able to get them through the system and past, we were able to get it past the um, squeeze chute and then squeeze, squeeze it and then both Chris and I were at this end. So that made, for two people, that makes, it made all the difference. Let's talk about this weaning process, even though if you've been with me, you already know the scoop. They're going to be really loud today. They're going to be really loud tomorrow, but less loud as they are right now. They're 
They do miss their babies, but also they got put onto a dry ration. So they're not getting the corn and they're not getting corn silage. So they're hangry, they're mad, they want their dessert and they've been cut off. So, uh, yeah, as you do. Anyway, so I would say usually in about day two, like day three, so two days post weaning, they'll, they'll be pretty quiet. I have an idea for this afternoon. I really want to clean this side out while we have rain. It rained today, so I know I'm not needing them field. But Mark said we didn't get that much rain. So as soon as it dries off, he's going to need me again. We're going to hope to get hay done this week. So we got to do, we got a, a big list of things that need to get done. And priority in the barn is getting this getting this whole barn set up for lambing, which is gonna start here in uh, two weeks, I think, as of yesterday. So the race is on. awkward just to give you a different view Let's see if this sticks I got a like a suction cup thing for some better uh, filming and I have had it for ages and I never used it I like being behind the camera and not in front of it <laughs> after five years of vlogging she says this So uh, a bunch of you guys are wondering if I have been putting the lime down. I put it down in these pens last time. Um, I didn't see a difference in moisture. In fact, um, I found this winter to be really bad. So I didn't even bother laying it in those other pens. And the other side is dry as a whip. So I don't know if lime I'm sure it doesn't hurt, uh, but I really think in my barn it's a matter of uh, humidity than anything else. I don't think any real hack is going to do much. These fans are amazing, uh, and not having humidity in the air makes a huge difference.
They're actually a little mad because I think they want it in the clean pen. They like uh, they like the straw. They will be better by Sunday for sure when I have to do chores, which is really good. So this weekend is Carissa's big 19th birthday weekend. So I think she's got like a whole thing planned for tomorrow night with her friends. She's probably not going to be feeling that great on Sunday morning, so she's asked me ages ago to do chores. So. I said for sure and I'm hoping they won't give me a headache on Sunday morning. I'm pretty sure they'll be a lot quieter. What's the matter, Cindy? What's the matter? You're missing your baby. Hi. Hi. Ah, don't, don't eat my hair. Cinnamon, she's so depressed. And we got Freckles, who's like equally depressed. They did so good. She was such a good mommy for being a first timer. Where's Freckles? There's Marge. Margie. What's the matter, Marge? How you looking? You looking any Got a long way to go there, Mama. Uh, 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 well, I think uh, I've had enough volume today that I'm gonna call it quits. But I'm kind of on top all weekend, so I will see you guys in the morning. morning. I'm just peeking my head in to see if they've quieted down. I think they've quieted down a little bit. Like I can hear myself think today. I couldn't yesterday. Are you guys happier? Chill? A little bit? They're a little happier. Um, I was going to clean out this side today, this pen here. Uh, but m I think Mark needs me today. Uh, he's doing a little more things to his cabin in the woods and he just needed another set of hands so I might help him for most of the day today until it dries out enough that he can go back out and maybe spray and uh, maybe tomorrow after I'm done chores I might attempt to get this other side cleaned out and then everything's ready to get all sorted I can put my ewes that are due here early June I can put them on this side and start getting everything ready for lambing which is going to sneak up real fast. I find the busier you are, the faster your next lambing period comes, of course. When I'm waiting for lambs, they never come on time. Look how nice this looks from yesterday. Glorious.
does it feel to have a treehouse? My knees are sore. My back's sore. I'm pretty sore as well. But yeah, it's nice to get that done. Mm -hmm. Are we moving back here? No. Mr. Brock really knows how to uh, work a girl on a Saturday that she should have been working in the sheep barn. I am s I'm really tired and sore. That was a lot of climbing today. Uh, we were putting on the roof, some boards on the roof today on, in the, on the little cabin. But the one thing that I had meant to do all day and I hadn't gotten over here was check on these uh, wean lambs. Just see if I can hear them. I can kind of hear them. Um, I just want to make sure they're getting onto the water. So every day after we wean for about a week, we just make sure they're getting onto the water. I don't like any going backwards, especially these wean lambs. They look so good. They look so good yesterday. supposed to happen over here? Hello, yeah. Red. You become a little sweet pea too. Yeah. Hey, do you guys like it over here? I don't think they seem as loud as yesterday. This is why I edit. I like to see if there's been any improvement through the days. Yeah. Hello. My fingers. What are you doing, Red? Hi. Do you guys want the pail filled? Oh, that one's got to You just need one, and they'll fill the bowl for everybody else. Hi, Maddie. I wondered where you were. Why are you doing over here? Oh, you're so big. Not my hair, not my hair. No, no, no. Hey, Maddie. How's my boy? Look how big you are! Can you get off my back, please? No. Treacherous. Oh, hi, Kinky! Hi, buddy. What are you saying? Hey? Aw, oh, you're so sweet, aren't ya? You haven't missed a beat, hey? You just got a crooked neck. But you're huge. Hey? Okay. Uh, you big boy. All right, guys, I'm going to finish uh, feeding these guys water, keep filling uh, bowls, fill the pail, and then probably turn it in for the night. Uh, 